All right. Hey, how's it going? Hi, I'm Melvin. Welcome to the stream. Haven't been streaming in a while. Been kind of busy. You know, it's December. Uh, the holidays are getting here. Actually, Hanukkah's already gone by. Christmas is coming. New Year's. So I've been really busy, so I haven't been streaming much. Um, but thank you for tuning in, wherever you're watching this from, if you're watching it live, or if I recorded it and actually remember to put it on YouTube, and if I did good for me. But hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm Melvin. I'm going to be playing some Magic Arena. Um, to tell you the truth, like I used to play a lot more Magic Online. Lately, I've just been really into, really into Arena. I think it just makes a better environment. Is that what I want to say? So, I don't know. I think it's more fun to watch. So I'm going to be doing that tonight. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. Although you probably know who I am if you're watching this, so... Alright, let's get to the games. Well, what are we going to do? I suppose I should turn on Arena. That would help, right? Okay. We are ready to go. So, there's some weird stuff going on right now. There's this uh, Kibler's Giant Monster thing, which is interesting. It's a standard deck, but every time you play a card that costs four or more a creature you draw a card so it's like colossal majesty just built in which is kind of neat but the problem with that system like if we take a look one of the weird things is okay so two losses and you're out so what happens if we go 50 percent and go two and two we get 200 gold so we're just down 300 gold but we get two cards one is rare is that worth it Meh. don't know what else? Uh, so we got three and two. We get 300 gold. Where do we break even? Four wins and we break even plus two cards. Yeah. These events are cool, but they are not good EV at all. So I don't think we're going to do that. I'm going to warm up. I'll probably do either Dominaria Draft or Guilds of Ravnica, but I think I'm going to play a little bit first. Maybe work on my ladder. Wait till some people get here, then we'll do some limited. Still playing my pet deck. This is a Rakdos burn deck. Hopefully it gets better with the actual Rakdos guild, which comes out in January. Lands and spells. Pretty easy keeps in these things. I can shock on turn one if I want to play a Cinder Barons. Probably don't. Opponent mulligan to six. So that's a thing. Let's get our lands in there. What is our opponent doing? Blue! Ah, okay. So this is the blue tempo deck, probably. Alright, they're just going for it. Hmm, what do I want to do here? I suppose I want to see if Shock lands first. Did they have Dive Down? It's kind of a gamble if they do or not. Oh, I should have played that. Should have played around Sparrow Pierce. My fault. So basically, they can out card draw me, which means I just have to burn them out. Kind of annoying. If they tap out for a Jin here, I can Wizard Lightning that thing. They've already made their cards back, though. is thinking about it. They can leave Counterspell up as well.
thinking. All right, Marauder, eh? Sure. What do you got this time? Nothing. Just keep the damage flowing. Do need to draw some card draw now. They have refilled with Curious Obsession. I am out of gas. That's pretty good. They also have not been playing lands. Are they going to kill us? Just black him. Huh. Five lands, six lands. Just drawing cards here. There's the gin. Well, that's dead. Helps a little bit. Still just dead in three turns. Probably maybe two turns. dead next turn, and we drew another land. Yep. Just give up. <sighs> Should have played around Spell Pierce. Yeah. Back to it. One land. Blech. Not good. One land. Fine. Alright, we got a scry to a land. That helps. Green white. Any uh any deck with life gain is just a bad matchup. We'll have to see what they're doing. So a third land would be very nice. Night of Autumn. Two two vigilance. Okay. What kind of card would you like to give us? I could just shock that. I'd rather use all my mana this turn. I could have, I guess, shocked it and electrostatic fielded. Hey, Boot! How's it going? Yeah, I haven't been on in a while. The holiday season gets busy. No attacks. Next turn I can field and bite or field and lightning strike. I have been enjoying the arena. Hey Dexter. I have. I think it's um the drafting is still a little weird and the sealed building is still a little weird, but overall I think it's been fun. I have not been playing online much at all. Magic online that is. Arena online, yes. Magic online online? Not so much.
Let's just set up for some big spells. I like the idea of every spell I cast doing three damage. Most of them do three damage anyways. Now they're just doing six. Divine Visitation, all right. Hmm. Is this Jim's list? No, this is my list. This is what I've been playing for like months. I'm not sure what the difference with Jim's list is. Besides mine is just burning them out. You got it. Nope, no blocks. All right. You can make some angels next turn, but I don't think it's going to help. <laughs> sure, save the two. It's funny because the angels don't have lifelink. Does this kill them? Now, this does five. Uh, this does six. All right. Kablam. Uh, I find this deck has very good game against uh, the Crackling Drake decks. It's okay. It's a little better than the Mono Red decks because it has life gain and um, it just kind of matches up well. It also has better card draw, I think. It's a tough beat against the green black decks because they have wild growth walker which gains life very easily so you have to like hope you kill it before they don't gain a bunch of life opponent's dead <laughs> bronze tier 2 I just started working on ranked competitive whatever this is today but it's time to move on to limited should I draft Dominaria or Guilds of Ravnica? Does anybody have a preference? Reign of Gore. Eh. What does that do exactly? I'm trying to think what I would want to get reprinted in um, in the set. That would be a good Rakdos card that does damage. Dexter wants guilds? Alright. Uh, yep. Alright, let's see what we're doing here. We got a Zoni, which is expensive, but alright. Price of Fame, good in Demir or Golgari. Garbage garbage dead weight I think price of fame is better than dead weight hmm so we take a zoni and really move into gugari which I don't like or I could just take price of fame I think I just take price of fame I like being demir in arena I have not liked being gugari much at all The nice thing is I can just sit here and take forever. I think Price of Fame is better. I don't know what color I'm going to be. Uh, what do we have here? A whole bunch of green cards. Swarm Guild Mage, Necrolisk, Demotion. Eh, they're all okay. There's a Wrath, there's a Dowser of Lights. So what's the best card in this pack? Hmm. Not a ton of great cards. I suppose it's Swarm Guild Mage. Like, Necrolis is okay. It's good in Golgari. It's okay in Demir. Burglar Rats is meh. There's no removal. Pack is kind of stinky, actually. Hmm. Um... 
I guess the Guild Mage is the best card. But it's not, uh, no obvious choices there. Drown Secrets. Oh, okay, here's some choices now. So we've got Whisper Agent, which I like. Notion Range, Notion Rain, which I like. There are no Gruel cards here, really. There's a Glaive. I don't really want to move on on Glaive pick three. Drown Secrets is kind of funny. I don't know if I'm going to mill anybody out, though. I'm not sure. It's either Glaive or Whisper Agent or Notion Rain. Notion Rain is probably fine. Prey Upon? Prey Upon is not super great in this format because the creatures are all very small. And it's hard to really like get a benefit out of it. You would think it's good, but actually like it just doesn't do enough early enough to help you. Typically all these five cards, the ones that boost your creature in some way are always pretty good. The ones that don't, like this and the one that was in Ixalan, are just not as good. If it doesn't have the boost of some sort to your stats, like they're just not as good. So I think, like Drowned Secrets is kind of funny. I think it's Guild Pact or Whisper Agent or Notion Rain. I kind of like Notion Rain better. It is a guild card, though. Yeah, like, normally you'd think, oh, Prey Upon removal is pretty good. It's just not because you can't get your guys out fast enough to make it good. Hmm. I'll take Notion right here. Now what? Now we are seeing a red card. It's all right. Not a great... No, no. Cover-up's fine. Sideboard card. This is a uh, best of three. Uprising. Ugh. These guys are all gross. I could take like a counter spell. I really don't want anything else here. Also, I am like trying to read signals of the bots to see what they're doing. There's a beam splitter mage. Unexplained disappearance. Hmm. I wonder if I could be is it splash black. That is possible. Beam Splitter Mage is not great. So basically this copies cards. Yeah, Demir is like the best. Here I am leaning towards like taking Cyclops and just being some sort of Grixis. Unexplained Disappearance is fine too. There's Invert and Vent, Silent Dart, Disdainful Stroke, Sonic Assault. Could be an aggressive Is It deck. This is like, yeah, I, all this is just meh. Maybe I'll lean into Is It. Sonic Assault's fine. Now what? Uh. Sure Strike goes with an aggressive Izzet deck. Oops, on the mic. <clears throat> hmm. It's a little bit of Demir. Or Golgari, I'm sorry. So for aggressive Izzet, I want like Sure Strike. I guess. Ugh, okay, now I'm just being told that those colors are all cut. These cards are all bad, though. Alright, so if I'm going to hedge back in Golgari, what do I want to do? Take a two-drop? Yuck. There's another cover-up for the control deck. There's a Crawl Foragers. Maybe I'm not supposed to be... Uh, Grixis, maybe I'm supposed to be Sultai. Hey, Ben! Ben, you gotta help me out. I don't know what to do here. These packs are terrible. This is what I've drafted so far. Really trying to figure out the signals, and I'm not getting much. So, I keep seeing some green. The last pack had no blue or red cards in it. 
I'm seeing a Call Forgers or like some mishmash of Is It. Honestly, I'm leaning back towards green. Think like a robot. Beep, bloop, blorp, beep, beep. Arrow art. Card's bad. Shutting down. It's hard to do. <sighs> I am thinking like a robot, but I'm also trying to figure out what they're doing. I think green is open. I hate Golgari and Arena. I can take another two drop. Woo! Take a four drop. Just be a super aggressive Golgari. Golgari is lit. Every time I played it, like, it just doesn't work out. Maybe it's just me. I could take a two drop or a four drop. Something Sultai. Yeah, I mean, I've got some stuff I can do. I don't mind the Ceratoc, though. Bunch of stuff. There's a crab. Uh, Utopia. Do not think I'll be utopiaing. Cards. Okapi. Why wasn't Okapi good? Two drop always. Not always. Poor Close Vine is alright. What did we open? Omni Spell Adept is bleh. We got a Guild Summit I have not been impressed with. There's a Wee Dragonauts. Okay, so this pack has like nothing for green at all. It's kind of awkward. Um, the best card in the pack is probably Weed and Dragonauts. I don't think I'm in, like, I mean, I could take a Gilgate here, but that seems kind of bad. Boot likes Wii. I could potentially shift back into an aggressive Is It pick here. Pack Luck has been bad? Maybe. I mean, this is not a good rare, I don't think. If I had, like, ten mana sorceries in my deck, it might be neat. Um, so here's what I can do. I can lean on the Wii Dragonauts and maybe go back into... Ben says no with an E. I assume he means Omni Spell Adapts. Yeah, I'm thinking that, because there's just no green... There's one green card in the pack... I've got like six decks going right now. Crater Maker is alright. Uh, Devourer is meh. We've got a takedown. We could take some things down. Lean back towards being Grixis. Uh, this is the second Demir Guildgate we've seen. So that might be a thing. Luminous Bonds. We don't have a white card yet. I don't think this is the time. Yeah. Probably Artful Takedown. The green cards are awful. Maybe it just grix this takedown. Maybe prioritize Gilgate's a little higher. I don't know. Certainly all over the place. Hopefully I have time to recover. Now what? Capture Sphere, Grixis Control. Okay, I could also take a Cyclops, get a little more aggressive. Capture Sphere doesn't really work. It works in the Grixis like control strategy. It doesn't work super well in the uh, Grixis or even the aggro. I have what three? I'm looking to be control, right? I've got 
in my Grixis colors, I've got two removal spells and a card draw. I could just take Capture Sphere. It's fairly safe. Just go that route. There's a Hired Poisoner. Third, Demir Gilgate. Hopefully one of these comes back. Yeah, I don't know. Is it Cyclops or is it Capture Sphere? Just pick the pretty one powers. You would not Sphere. You are not liking it as removal. All right, I may have to take Ben's advice on this one, given that he's done about a million more drafts than I have in this format. I guess this is fine. It blocks a lot of things. It's cheap. Would not sphere. All right, three Cyclopses is, seems pretty good. There's a Devious Cover-Up. There's an Urchins. It's just about time to kick Green to the curb. Cyclops and Smork. I don't know what Smork is. Sounds delicious, though. Yeah, it could have been, potentially. Um, Invertant Van, I haven't had a lot of experience with in Draft. I'm not sure it's great. Makes our Cyclopses into three fours. Boros Gilgate. What else are we taking here? A Rage? Just another three drop? I guess the question is, is Invert Invent playable in the aggressive decks? I know like late game you can use it to go get stuff. Helps you out. It does, uh, it does make your Wish Queen Crabs into damaging monsters. Hmm. And now we can take a Cosmotronic Wave. Helps these Cyclopses as gill things. Barging Sergeant. Um, not really what we're doing. I think it's just... Wow, blue is just cut. Another Prey Upon. I guess if we're in the aggressive... Is it that Cosmotronic Wave is the pick? There's a Unicorn. There's no... Okay. Huh. I think I'll just wave. Second wave, disdainful stroke, disdainful stroke. Torch courier. Blech. Is it lock it? I don't think I'm gonna lock it. I really wish I could grab a bunch of these cards at once. Gotta drag them slowly. So slowly. I also wish I could sort by mana cost. There should be a hotkey or something to, to do that. I can't right click. I want to so bad. I gotta sit here and just sort my cards like a silly person. There. I guess that's better. We haven't seen Electromancers either. Uh, I think I could take the Disdainful Stroke over the second Cosmotronic Wave. Seismic Assault. Alright. Get my beaters on. There's a Gilgate. Um, we're expecting some Demir Gilgates to wheel potentially. I think I just take Sonic Assault here. Now what? Uh, Mesmerist is actually not bad in an aggressive format. It's also Fire Urchin. And a Bodyguard. I have so many threes and I have so few twos. I think I really want one of the two drops here. I don't think I want another three. Bodyguard's not bad in Is It Aggro, though. Passwall Adept. Yeah, I could Adept. Oh, that's true. I guess I could make myself a 3-1 unblockable by casting a, a one-mana spell and do that. Is that better, though, than either of these two other two drops? Hmm. 
You can't think? Oh, you're sick. Oh. Sorry. I think I'm going to take Mesmerist. Don't listen to a word you type. Too late now. I've been picking some picks. All right. Uh, I think I would take Recruit here as just a two-mana beater. I don't want a wall. I don't want a six-drop. Uh, this is a spell, which turns on our Cyclopses. Are we not going to get any of those guild gates to wheel? That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, maximize velocity. Not great. But maybe with this many Cyclopses, I might need to. Rage, I'm not super fond of. Wow, none of those Demir guild gates wield. Which is kind of shocking. Hmm. Alright, well we got Amara for the rare. Snitch. Selesnia Gilgate. Gatekeeper Gargoyle. Not in this deck. Ornery Goblin's not bad. It's just an aggressive 2 prop. Gravitic Punch is a bunch of damage. Um... I wouldn't like I wouldn't mind having one punch, but I think I would just want more two drops. Muse Drake is meh, it's not aggressive. I wish there was like an electromancer or something in this pack. Certainly not trying to splash Justice Strike. Do I take the 2 1 first striker as it's attacking or the 2 1 that pings? Probably just the first striker. If I'm going to do that sort of thing. Risk factor? Huh, alright. Oh, there's a statue stature. Good card. So, uh, there's one blue card in the pack. I think I just maybe take the Demir Gilgate here. Do I take risk factor? basically just like a slightly worse lava axe with jump start but it does work with our cyclopses ben says the gill gate like this rarely ever draws you three cards yeah this deck is if it's three colors it is not hyper focused i kind of agree i do want a demir gill gate Here's an Is it Gilgate. There's a Notion Rain. There's a Command the Storm, which I'll probably just take. I have not seen Hypothesizzles either. There's a Rampaging Monument. Uh, we have how many military color spells? A lot. Maybe we just take Monument. Take the second Gilgate. Really over Command the Storm? Yeah, Monument is kind of great. We have a lot of colored spells. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Probably more. I think I'm just going to take Monument. Hmm, where are all my good blue cards? Radical Idea. I like Radical Idea. It turns on the Cyclopses for cheap. Uh... Nothing great in red. I don't want another one of these. Leapfrog. Leapfrog's not bad. Uh, Thought Eraser? No. Alright, Froggy. Look at all the green cards. Yeah. I don't really want to play a Dazzling Light. Hello. Here's an Electromancer. Alright. Yeah, I have a feeling it is just not open. Passwall Adept, I guess. Now I'll take a punch. And a bunch of stuff I don't want. Taking the uncommon for the vault. Alright, another mesmerist. I guess that's not terrible. Let's 
stuff. All right, so we have cards. I suppose the question is, the first question is, is our mana base, <clears throat> is it worth it to play these black cards? So we basically have two pretty good removal and one card draw in black. We're at 43 cards. So I could cut like the velocity. It's got two swamps. I think the uh, black is okay. Velocity is not super exciting. Um, Maniacal Rage is also not super exciting. And I'm not sure if I need... Cosmotronic Wave is a way we can win the game if things stall out. How many creatures do we have? 13. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I don't want the crab. The crab is not where this deck wants to be. Maybe I don't want... Oh, I kind of like cover-up, though. The crab does not invent pretty well. Crab also just blocks a lot of things if we need to, like, try and get in with Leapfrog or We Agronaut. We Dragonauts. Agronauts? Agronauts. So, like... Uh, hmm. I could potentially just cut Notion Rain. Do that. Now that's 40 cards. Uh, what's our colors look like? 7 and 3. Right now it's giving us 10 blue sources and 5 red sources. That doesn't seem right. This is where I would sort by color if I could. I can't just make a pile there. Really wish there was an easier way to do this. Trying to get my colors into piles. Let's put the multicolored here. Blue over here. Red here. So we have effectively, and this is like a blue card, seven and five, but it's more like eight and five. So that's eight and six, so it's really nine and six and three. But I really want both colors early. Alright, this deck is not good. Like, if we can go 3 and 2, that would be amazing. It's probably going to go, like, 2 and 2. I can hope. Probably should have been Golgari. Eh. Uh, I guess I keep. It's not exciting. But it is lands and spells. It also has red mana and blue mana, which is pretty important. Torch Courier. Oh man, our opponent mulligan to teeny tiny. I could invent it. Or invert it. I can make it a 1-1. One, one.
I suppose I could have played Mesmerist if I had to invert and vent something next turn to kill it. Which is kind of funny. So maybe if I have invert in my hand, I should play Mesmerist first. That's also assuming I'm not just going to play Cyclops next. Ooh. Alright. Get in for three. I think I block. If they could sure strike this. I mean, that's okay. That's their turn, effectively. And I can do the same thing back. Sure. Let's see what you got. Haste it is. The hammer has been dropped. See, so here's where I could invert and vent. Get an instant or sorcery at the end of my turn. I mean, I'm not going to do anything else here. The question is, do I want to just, like, block the hammer dropper with my mesmerist when he attacks? Probably do. Got it. Waves looking good. All right, let's go invent. Let's take a. Hmm, I could take takedown. I don't have black yet, which is kind of painful. Is punch my only sorcery? I'm going to take source and sonic assault.
So let's see, I can just Sonic Assault and tap down the hammer dropper so they can't attack and pump. Instead of casting the Mesmerist. They go up to seven. I guess they go up to five. Then they just kind of die. All right, well, we killed them. Boros, eh? Some one ones. A little bit of maniacing rage. Don't have a lot of options here. Does make my splash a little worse. Um, dazzling lights is okay. Disdainful stroke, we saw a hammer dropper and not much else yet. Uh, I don't think I want to cover up though. I think I'm gonna play lights. See what kind of spells we're working on. We can keep a uh, disdainful stroke in mind for game three if there is one. Hmm. Well then, um, <clears throat> this hand doesn't do anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. If we draw a island, we're good. If we draw a mountain, we have a play on turn three. Mulliganing could be risky. I can't tell if my opponent kept or not. Looks like they kept. Uh, hmm. I think I have to mulligan. I'm not really sure. Like I could keep this and hope to hit a land to play on make a play on turn three. It just seems kinda slow against a Boros deck. <clears throat> Alright, well this is worse, but if I go to five I think I'm screwed. Great. This isn't that bad if I draw a third land. If it's red, it's pretty good. Yep. If I draw a land, this would be fun. Oh, geez. All right. Can't really take it down. Well, let's see. So if I play, if I play the Dragonauts. I can make a trade off. I'm gonna go to six here. My opponent has sure strike, it's pretty bad.
Cabrito, hey, how's it going? All right, Ben, rest up. Save your voice for your podcast. Hopefully you feel better. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. There's the sure strike. Dead if I block. Don't block. Radical idea. All right. Well, they had the <clears throat> card, so ooh. thank you for the uh, thank you for the host. I'm gonna cough a second. <coughs> Pardon me. It's really cover my mouth when I do that. <sighs> All right, so we're still playing some aggressiveness. I don't know I have much I can do about that. Don't let him play a bunch of Maniacal Rages. Draw my Price of Fame. All right, I'll keep this. One drop. The Banneret, sure. Marshall, sure. If I had double blue, I would play the Mesmerist and keep Dazzling Lights up. But unfortunately, I don't. And if they attack with all three, they're just signaling Sure Strike. Alright. Or not. I block the banner at first. Land would have been nice there. All right. Pun is uh, curving out better than we are. Righteous Blow too? Jeez. Alright, we are getting blown out by the best cards. Ugh. We are not making our land drops either, so what's going to happen now? Land would have been nice. Opponent is drawn like a champ. We 
It hits for four. Yep. Two games we just did not draw well. It's not surprising. Alright, well there's our first loss. Hope we can get a win. Waiting, waiting, waiting. All right, the Maximus. Okay, I will play first. Uh, I will keep lands and spells. I end our three colors. Put them all again to six. We got our two drop on the board. They have their two drop on the board. You aren't really thinking about blocking. All right. Hmm, maybe I'll play some X ones. What are you going to bond something? I'm not sure what you're thinking about here. Boros Challenger, sure. Are we crushing it? No, we just got crushed because we drew poorly. Leapfrog? Hmm. So as long as they don't like mint, play this, pump this, hit us for five, <clears throat> that'd be the worst thing. Playing a weenie creature would be good. All right, they're doing the thing I didn't want them to do. They're not attacking with it. Interesting. Can we do four points of damage? Uh. We just take it. So I can kill her thing here and get in for a bunch. It's like better than anything else I'm doing this turn. Down to 12, I can seismic assault twice. Hey, Hub. How's it going? Alright. Herculean Petrol. Sure. You can hit me for two. So I can tap the patrol, hit for three. Three. I can also make some stuff unblockable. I suppose I can make the recruit unblockable. Hit for five total.
So down to five. So if I can get the leapfrog through, they die. Can't just make things unblockable and kill them too. Yeah, now they're just dead. Throw this man away. Black how you want. You're not gaining a life. Alright. Uh, another Boros player. So we saw Perhelion Patrol. Mm. I think we're okay. I don't really have a lot of sideboard options. Game two. That's weird. Is it telling me that card's there? It's like, what is this doing in this deck? Uh, I'm gonna keep, we have a two drop and some stuff. Opponent's Marty Mulligan to six. Scrying to the bottom. One of our black sources would be nice. Or like another creature. Like Cyclops on time. Ugh, Boros Challenger. Alright. Yeah, this deck just does not have Hypothesis, which is a problem. Can I draw one of our two swamps? Niblox. Is not doing anything but just getting in for damage. All right. I suppose I can start Sonic assaulting. That thing. Uh, sure. really have nothing else to do. Yeah. I'm going to throw in all the lands to keep this from attacking. Because I can't draw another creature. four drops and five drops they have. Maybe we do want Sustainable dro Stroke if they're like an expensive sort of a uh... Woo! Everos! Hey! Look at that! How's it going? Hey everybody! Hi! Welcome to the stream! I'm Melvin. I'm playing some Arena. I am getting my butt kicked with some Grixis limited action. Uh, this deck is not great, but it was what I think we were supposed to be drafting in our seat. Um, right now we are playing our second Boros opponent. A lot of hammer droppers. I'm bringing in Disdainful, Dro Disdainful Stroke. Ugh. I 
think I'm double blocking this turn. This becomes a 4 5. Yuck. Hey, the Banty. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm around I'm on Twitter, Melvin the Muppet. Uh, I host a podcast with, uh, oh, am I really getting beat up that bad? Yeah, I kind of figured I was. With, uh, GP commentator and fellow Rogues Gallery member, uh, TJ Rogers, who is also a streamer. And, um, I do funny videos and stuff in stream sometimes. Right now I'm just drawing a whole bunch of junk. I'm gonna take nine and die. Yep. Uh, all right, disdainful joke in. Oh, thank you, Evros. Did you have a good stream? Thank you for the follow. Bork, bork, bork. I recently came to the conclusion that Bork 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 is Swedish for ye ye eat. Think about it. Uh, what do I want to take out? Um, I think I'm bringing Stroke in for cover up. It was great. Blue Eye Control in Modern? Oh, how are you liking Blue Eye Control in Standard? I played against it. I have not played it. Um, I think this is fine. Let's just like draw creatures this time. We can't draw all of our trick cards. We need to draw like some creatures. Play. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep this because I have a Cyclops. Ooh, the velocity. Velocity, is that right? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, Hollow Fountains. I want some. Uh, what's the uh, what's the Rakdos one? Let's say Meyer. Is that it? Come on, Island. Island? Nope. Blood Crip. There it is. Blood something. Recruits. Alright, now I just want to draw like any land. But a blue one would be really good. I have nine blue sources in this deck. Yeah, Spyglass is similar. No. Oh, I could sound like a solid hit for four. I think I'm just gonna play a monument though. Mortify, yeah. That snuck out, didn't it? There's a Twitter picture going around with Mortify and some other weird things. Pack Rat, they will never put Pack Rat in a set again that's not Modern Masters or equivalent. Pack Rat is not a good card. I mean, it's a very good card, which is the problem. It's too good of a card. Here come the hammer droppers. If they play a hammer dropper, I'm gonna take down and hit them for eight. Yeah, Simic. I always like Simic. I hope the Azorius has a cool mechanic. I don't know what it is yet. Opponents on four mana thinking about doing something that's not just playing a creature and looking at my creatures. All right, that's not a bad choice. Hmm, I can Sonic Assault play the Mesmerist and hit for four. Seems pretty good. Detain. I don't think they'll do a old mechanic again. Oh, they did convoke though. Yeah, detain was kind of neat. No blocks. Huh. 
Huh. I wish I could do multiple things this turn. I think I still just take down and hit for six. Return of Miracle? No. They're not going to do that. Or there is a pseudo Boros Reckoner card. Detention Sphere? Yeah, maybe. There's Ixalan's Binding, which is kind of close to Detention Sphere. We already have Dragon's Revelation. I don't know that they'll print Sphinx's Revelation again. Into this thing. I guess I could have just killed them there, couldn't I have? Huh. Silly me. Sure strike gives you three damage. We'll get another Jace. Um, I don't know. Yes, attack. Why would you not attack? I guess your hope is that I just don't kill you here. What's your trick, buddy? Your trick is exploding? Alright, I liked it. Gideon as well, and Dovin. No, I don't think Dovin will be around. No, I mean, they do like three walkers per set. Alright, we're one and one. So, I'm not sure. Usually the guild leaders are not planeswalkers themselves. Dovin is taking over over the Sphinx that died. Four mana cost Domery. Yeah, I guess Domery's around. Uh, Alright, this is a keep. We have lands and spells. Playing Kamasham. I like that name. So the story plot is that planeswalkers are taking over the guilds. Ah, okay. Let's hope this is not our third Boros player. Third Boros match. See, this is the problem with bots still. Is that there's just... Um, too many people are just forcing things that they shouldn't be able to. Like, you see, typically just play, like, always Boros or Demir. Sometimes Zizit, sometimes Golgari. Very rarely Selesnya. Blacksmith. Ugh, my Cyclops is. Why you gotta hit on my Cyclops is? And I dream of the third one. Uh. 
I mean, I guess they attack okay, but... Like, alright. That is annoying. Hmm. I can play the monument. This thing is doing some work, surprisingly. I could just sonic assault this. Uh, is that what I want to do? I can play the monument. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Next turn, it's not going to do much. Can't even block with the... Stupid Cyclopses. The legendary is a sweet one, and look out for a sweet blue eye commander. Yeah, hopefully. I guess we know the three two. Daggers. Thank you for the follow. You can have daggers. You don't have to not have daggers. I guess it's up to you. Oh, I really hope they attack in. <clears throat> that would make me so happy. No attacks. Just a 2 2. Alright. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, can I get them now? I can play the monument. I can potentially make it a 4 4 with invert and vent, which will kick this off. Ooh, I like this. Interesting choices. Getting this one a lot. Darth Taco. Thank you for the follow. Alright. So, we're kind of avoiding a pump spell... For the blowout. Opponent is looking at cards. They can pump this to a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, thanks. We're not going to get another Teferi. People are tired of Teferi. They are tired fairy.
Okay, so I'm going to take 8 this turn, potentially. Next turn, I can play a Cyclops. Cyclops will pump the monument. I don't want to go too low. 5 is already the danger zone. Hmm. Let's smash. Yeah. I can potentially just kill them next turn, too. If they, uh... Am I what? My left hand? I uh, know. There's nothing on my left hand. The right hand is the mouse. That's this hand over here. Nobody is controlling me. Except maybe my girlfriend. Go, oh, I hope she's not watching right now. A two three. No, I'm doing the mouse with my right hand. And I use the mouse because if I went to the keyboard, I'd be up here. The keyboard is right here. I don't want to be there. So I got to sit back here, so I'm in the frame right with the green screen. So it works out. It is internet magic. Woo! Okay, so I can seismic assault and seismic assault and kill them. Is that right? Actually, hold on. Uh, yeah, that'll work still. Tap this and smash. Tap this, they go to seven. Um, this block is this. These two kill them. Got to double check my math. I don't want to mess up. I don't want to look dumb on camera. More so than usual. Alright. Another Boros player. Once again, cover up out. Disdainful stroke in. If I play four Boros decks in a row, I'm going to scream. Alright, we're going to game two. Ooh, I like this. I'm gonna keep <clears throat> my opponent is going first though. This is pretty good. If I draw another land, this is a very nice curve. Blue? What the silent fart. Hey Spammy! How's it going? Silent but deadly. We do have the fun combo of Mesmerist plus Invert. So if they play an X2, we can just kill it with a one-mana spell. Which is kind of neat. Eating way too much at your company holiday party? Who didn't? They played their own Cyclops. Interesting. Uh. No attacks. Lands, please. Ooh. 
Cyclopses for days, huh? Kind of want to hit my land drop. May I just play this radical idea? Or I could just play another Cyclops. Yeah, holiday buffets are good. We had like a potluck and people brought stuff in. My opponent's got two islands? Maybe they weren't Boros. Maybe they just they got mana screwed. Not attacking with the flyer. I should probably attack with this patrol. There you go. Glad I could help. Ugh. That is not a land. I suppose I can kill the Parkelion Patrol. Attack with the Mesmerist and invert it. Uh -huh. Because layers? My opponent has two cards and six mana. Here come the judge. Great. MTG is like onions. This is true. really thinking about countering this or darting something they're thinking about darting my cyclops this is pretty good watch this if this works if this works, it saves the Cyclops and kills the Parhelion Patrol. They're switching him back. Interesting. Not a land. Hey, Zach. How's it going? How's the leg doing? Zach Kanner, professional player and streamer. They inverted my inversion, but their creature still died, which is kind of confusing. It will end.
They have three cards. Legs feeling great. Family party was a success. Trying to adjust 10 pounds of food you ate. Seems like a heavy day for food. Slash night for food for people. This is like the weekend where people had a good time for a holiday party before their real, like, heavy Christmas season hits. Guild the Gate. Um... I could price of fame that hit for four. Could play a cyclone. No, I'd only hit for three. I wish I could play two multicolored spells this turn. Hmm. I wonder if I just kill this thing and slam in for three. Let's just play the Cyclops. They're not really getting anywhere. I can't play two recruits this turn. Guess I can play recruit mesmerist. They are just flooding out real hard, apparently. Next turn I can play Cyclops and Recruit and hit with a 6-6 Trampler. Seems good. Okay. You can do that. That is the thing you can do. So you could attack in, you could have like Righteous Blow. Alright. Okay. Now, if they hadn't done that on their turn, they could have made their thing at 1 3 and kind of killed something. Punch almost lethal? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Giving up definitely lethal. Alright, we're at two wins. This is about where I thought this deck would get to. It's two wins. Maybe we can get to three wins. Hopefully, this is not the fourth Boros deck in a row we played. Because if it's the fourth Boros deck in a row, I'm going to scream. That seems statistically very hard, but because of the silly bots. Ah, uh, okay, this is a good hand. I've got stuff, it's got my colors. Alright, it's Demir. Woo! I'm playing the Mesmerist over the Electromancer because if they deadweight this, I'd rather they deadweight that than Electromancer. That's my logic. Deadweight? Okay. Dark Blade Agent. Alright. Ah, they can draw a card here. Can't really stop that. Okay. Or they can play a shade. Sure. If frog. Hmm. Huh.
So I have four mana. I can potentially Dark Blade Agent this, tap this, and hit for four. That's like all I'm doing this turn. I could play a frog. Just slam in with both. They didn't play a Surveil card last turn. Is this a big thing? Like a Dowser Lights? No, this is a removal spell. Deadly visit my frog. My frog is dead. And they're surveilling. It's not bad. I'm gonna draw a card. No locket. Yep. Get this land out of here. Zip. The recruit. Hmm. Ooh, assault. I like that. See if they try to kill something else. A Dowser. Sure. They hit me for two. Do I care? Would you like to attack for two? Fifth land. Um, wave kills them next turn. They may just chump here. And they go to two, and I have Sonic Assault in the yard. Wow. All right. See if they just die. They just die. Demir, eh? Okay. So for Demir... Uh... Hmm. Cover-up seems good. Disdainful stroke in. Uh... Mm -hmm. Punch is fine. Invert and vent seems less useful. Do I want Notion Rain? Hmm. Cosmetronic Wave. Do I want Cosmetronic Wave over something else? I think this is okay. Thanks, Maximus. Yeah, I got my tie on. I got like this vest thing. Sometimes you gotta dress up. Or, sometimes you're too lazy from when you dressed up before and didn't feel like changing before your stream. Sometimes that happens too. Yeah, I like Gravitic Punch. Cosmotronic Wave is just like a falter effect. They've done stuff like that before. With some pings built into it. 
Although it's kind of neat because it does two things. Like, it takes down the tokens and makes the big things that can't block. Pro Star? Pro Strat. Yep. Dress for the job you want. Mad Mardigan. A reference to Willow. Super old fantasy movie. A Warwick Davis thing. Alright, this is... Uh, if I draw blue, it's okay. If I don't draw blue, it's really bad. If I'm playing Demir, they're not that big of a hurry. I think I'm going to keep. I have a turn three play. That was a good draw. Still not an island, but that was a good draw. That was a good draw. Do I play Leapfrog or do I play Piston Fist? I guess I play Leapfrog. Man, I'm worried they're going to have uh, the minus one, minus one to all creature spell. That would be bad. Hey, Fulcane! How's it going? What do I want to play here? Maybe the Cyclops? Nah. Oops, I guess I am. Didn't drop it down here. One up here. Fulcane, another limited streamer. Probably be on after I go to sleep, because that's what he does. He's also on the West Coast. Muse Drag, sure. Cyclops, probably, but I'm not going to get to attack with the next turn. I mean, I guess I could. I could punch him for four and hit for a bunch. Uh, punch for four. Yeah, kind of like that. Hit with this thing. Yeah, I don't want to play a bunch of X1s because this is game two and they could have sideboarded nonsense. I could throw down Mesmerist. I kind of like just bashing for four. If I draw land next turn, I can go like Mesmerist and Leapfrog. Otherwise, I'm just not attacking this turn, and I don't like that. Also, they're tapped out, which makes this a lot safer to do. Yeah, you can double block. Seems like a bad trade. <clears throat> Notion Rain. Yes, take some damage. I will enjoy that. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely an aggressive trade, right? This deck is not going to hang back against Demir, though. Give another two drop. Snitch, huh? Alright. Land. Oh, I can attack into Snitch and I can strike it to death and play a frog. Or I can just play frog and mesmerist and wait. I can't play frog and mesmerist because I don't have two blue. Yeah, I guess I could have. It would have made it minus 2, minus 0. Hmm. Being limited on one island here is kind of bad. I guess I attack and then sure strike something and then play the frog. You just play the frog?
See, now I can seismic assault. Let's see what they do. They probably just kill something. Frog is probably going to die now. No, they're just playing shades, huh? Okay. So they can make a 3-3 three, three shade. Ugh. This turn is kind of annoying because I still don't have a second island. Sonic Assault. <clears throat> Seismic Assault is a different card. Also a cool one. It's in Ultimate Masters. Uh, they have Pump Mana up, which is kind of annoying. I can't play two cards. Yeah, I gotta just hold this turn. I don't like uh, not being aggressive for a turn. Are we gonna counter this? No. They have five cards though. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I said seismic? Oh, okay. That is probably from my old days. Seismic Swans. That was a deck. Look it up. Frog gonna die? Frog is captured. Alright. <clears throat> Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just want to build a big board and then just smash in in one turn. That's certainly something you can do. I don't think my hand is set up to do that, though. <clears throat> okay. Price of Fame. Well, I can Sonic this. They'll make the other one a... 3-3, three, three, and I attack. They can pick off one. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I can make... So this one become... I tap this one. This one can become a 1-3. And a 1-3 will trade with the mirror, the Mesmerist. Or I can just play the Adapt and just wait. Yeah, so I don't, I don't like that as much. Not having a second island is tough. Oh, I don't have my deck listed. I don't do that sort of thing. Wish Queen Crab. Crab may have to die. I mean, I can just go under crabs. I don't know if that's as big of a deal. You returned my humans to my hand. Uh, interesting. All right, so I can take four. I could have traded one there. I can play my own crab. That's kind of funny. They have a ton of mana to pump with, though. How am I... Like, how soon am I just dead here? They have six... Seven, eight mana. Uh, no attacks. Although invert would kill the crab. If they're smart, they just attack with a shade. <clears throat> they can pump the shade four times and make it a 6-6. Six, six. <clears throat> yeah, it does make my crab a 5-2. Uh, I think I just have to take it.
The chumping isn't starting yet. <clears throat> yep. What are you leaving mana for, though? You gonna kill something? Or you just wanna leave me in at a pump? Night Veil Predator, alright. That is a minor problem. Okay, new plan. Can I kill them with Wee Dragonauts fast enough? Hmm. Still don't have blue. I only have five mana. Yeah, Dragon Eyes is good. Um, I'm going to have to start chumping shades, though. I'm in a very good spot. I don't know if I'm in a very good spot. Dragon Eyes could just die here, and then I could be in a very bad spot. So I think I have to chump a shade. Both shades are coming in, so hmm. takes seven, and if they pump all their mana, so I can like double block one, and they have to pump to kill it. It's kind of awkward. Actually, I can just Sonic Assault back and kill them. Okay, let's see here. As long as they don't kill me here. I'm going to take 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I go to 1. And then I hit back for 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I am not going to block. One, two, three, four, five, six from the Dragonauts, seven, eight for Sonic Assault, nine, ten. So if I draw a. If I draw a two mana spell, I just kill them. They left me a two, and they played a locket. Alright. I drew an island, so I can double Sonic Assault and kill them. GG's. Alright, that was a little risky, but it worked. <laughs> Man, this deck is not good. <laughs> Ooh, a knight. Just what I wanted. And 25 magic coins. Alright, we're at three wins. This is better than I thought the deck was going to do. Thank you, Fulcane. GG indeed. So if you are new to the stream, hey, I'm Melvin. I stream sometimes, usually on Saturdays. It's been busy lately. Holidays have wrecked my streaming schedule. Uh, but I am doing the Ponder Podcast every week. If you like listening to uh, me and TJ goof around and talk. Actually, you know what? We're doing this thing now where we're trying to have more guests. This is a keep. Um, so if you like interviews, we had a really good one this week. We talked to a eSports e writer uh, who writes for The Score the website and um we were talking about arena stuff so if you're interested in like somebody else's take on magic esports besides everybody you know give it a listen it is the ponder podcast yeah we'll keep 
Oh, good. Thank you for the text. Or chat, or whatever it is. Is this our fourth Boros matchup? Could it be? Island? No, mono red, huh? I think the recruit, the recruit attacks the best here. Triple red. Yeesh. Did not, uh, did not have a recruit die, though. No third land. <clears throat> Slightly annoying. The Gablin. The Gablin stops us pretty well. Sadly, we've not drawn our third land yet. Um, even giving it minus two minus oh, it just kills both of our attackers. Kind of sucks. Yeah, please attack. Ugh. Come on. Well, it costs three. Never mind. So we're both kind of just stuck on mana. Let's see if they draw white before we draw blue or anything. Nope. All right. We are just both stuck. The first person to draw a land is going to win. Throwing away the jumpstart cards because they are kind of playable still. Wow. Come on, land. Land. Not quite. Land. Please. Yay. My opponent is still screwed. Jeez. All right. Well, then. I can Sonic Assault and hit for five here or just build my board. I think I just play a Cyclops and pass. I could be attacking with a Passball Adept, but if they have any kind of trick, that seems bad. Bodyguard, sure. Hmm, how much do I want to race here? <clears throat> I can tap the goblin and just hit with everything, and they'll take two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Be at seven. The next turn, they're real bad shape if I flash it back. Or I can just wave and probably kill them too. Should I wave now? If I wave now, it kills this thing. They don't do anything next turn.
Did they get their planes? My guess is no. Bunch of tutus. Let's see, I hit for five here. They like just staring at Sure Strike, wishing they could block. Oh, there's the planes. There's the back beasts. You're still just kind of dead. Scoop, we are playing Boros for the fourth time. We played one Demir and four Boros decks. Uh, cover up out. Stroke in. Um, I think everything else is okay. Don't have a ton of options. Playing gamer eight one one. Uh, this is a keep. Two drop, three drop, four drop. Gablin, sure. I meant two drop, two drop, four drop, four drop, four drop. Getting aggressive. Interesting. All right. Well, they have two cards left. Jaffs are done in pods. Yeah, I really wish they were in this one. More people would be forced to play the weaker guilds. Uh, do I play the crab or do I play the monument? I think I just play the crab. Yeah, I don't really know enough about their population to say how fast the drafts would fire. I don't. I just want leagues, human leagues. I don't want pods. I don't want in pod drafting. Uh, that's bad.
Need a black source to kill this. Leapy frog. I guess that does. Then everything in the world trades off this turn. Because I'll radical idea, throwing away gravitic punch. Well, they saw the leapfrog. Ooh, a seismic assault. Hmm. Do I want to trade that? Not yet, I don't think. Yeah. Wave seems worse. Hmm, all right. So I can kill the hammer dropper. How much money do I have? Six? I don't have quite enough to do both. They really just don't want to attack in. Blocks things. Interesting. All right, that helps. Still can't do both, though. <clears throat> I can throw away Punch and play Wee Dragon on it. They want to attack and I will just block. Uh, so what do they play? A goblin. How much do I need to do here? I have seven mana. I can... I could take it down. Pumps my Dragonauts to three. Punch them. Puts my Dragonauts to five. 
Smash and take one. They hit me for two with the goblin. No, I killed the goblin. Uh, Alright, so Sonic Athal is lethal by itself. As long as they don't just nail me for five here. Alright. Woo! Basically, it worked out the same way. The only difference was I didn't have to worry about the Ordinary Goblin getting pumped on the backswing. Because they would have been at one. If they had a Sure Strike or something, they could have killed me. Four wins. I like the casino. All right. Well, this is the last one either way, I guess. This deck is doing surprisingly better than I thought. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's getting late. Okay. Last match of the evening. Probably. Play first. Uh, Alright, I'll keep. It's a very soothing sound. <laughs> Got a lot of care here on me. Opponent is down to six and mulliganing. They are on the draw. Jojo says hello. Will it be black, red, or red? Green, I'm shocked. Well, my opponent's on some nonsense here. Spider. That's unfortunate. Yeah, if, if I ever get to play another land, I can play some big old monument stuff. Get through the stupid spider. So my opponent didn't do anything. What are the odds you're seeing on a counter spell? Let's find out. I don't like the pause here. That's kind of dangerous. Yeah. Disdainful stroke main. So they're on like Sultai stuff. Sultai control. No attacks.
Six mana. Three cards in hand. A predator. Sure. And a wall. Alright. Well, let's see. I can potentially... I could assault the spider, swing in for four. I don't really want to take anything down. Stupid wall has reached too. This thing has everything. Yeah, they can trade there. Actually, this is probably bad because we're gonna put the counter over here. Bunch of walls. All right, that was probably a mistake. I should play the recruit too. All right, I got so caught up with my first mistake, I forgot the second mistake. A rat, huh? All right. Swing with a 4 4. Hmm. So I can throw away a Mesmerist to Sonic Assault and hit for 3. Can't even do that because there's two walls with reach. Ugh, this frog is looking bad. I'm not sure how I win now. There's too many walls and there's a 4 4 flyer that I can't deal with. So, like, I need, like, a Wii Dragon Ounce or something? Hmm. Pretty sure I'm going to lose this game. See how much information I can get. Yep. 
How big is this? Uh, that's a two, three. I'm just going to move on. There's big worms are coming. My counter spells are probably good. A lot of walls. Frog seems bad. Uh, stroke seems good. Rage to push through doesn't seem terrible. Notion range doesn't seem terrible either. Inverted Bank kills a lot of the walls. I should keep that in mind. Do I want a Cosmosonic Wave to just kill them? Maybe. Put in a Rage. Take out a Mesmerist. Alright. Playing a Sultai control deck. Lots of walls. some lands. That is land. Opponents stay up their mana. Centipede, sure. If I draw another land, I'm playing a Wish Queen Crab, but I didn't. Let's see if they attack before they cast a creature. If they do, I'll just trade. They don't get, don't get a counter. Death Touch, sure. Hmm, do I radical idea here and hope to hit a land? No, I want to leave Disdainful Stroke up for their Nightmare Predator. If it comes here, which it could. Rats. Resolves. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of. Was the crab? Land. Nice. Oop. 
Uh, what are the odds they have Disdainful Stroke again? Hmm. They didn't play anything better. No tanks. I think I'm just going to play the Cyclops. I don't like doing nothing. Resolves. There's five mana. Summit. Ooh. Alright. Draw two cards. Pretty good. All right, let's see if they draw anything that I really care about. They have a ton of cards and a ton of mana. This is rough. They have seven cards in hand? Jeez. Just rich. They're rich with options. A flyer. It resolves. What do you think about like dead weight? <clears throat> I'm not sure what the question is. All right. Interesting.
Hmm. I guess I should have done that. Uh, it didn't particularly matter. Ton of mana. Seven mana. Rats. Gotta think about what I'm doing a little better. It's starting to get tired. Swamp. Okay, swamp so I can take down some things. They have three cards left? Playing like mono gilgates. There's gotta have a glaive in this deck. It's gotta be what it is, like. Alright. Just take care of this problem now. Sunny D. Hmm. Mountain does not help. Punching something for three doesn't help. That's a big old lurcher. Glad I didn't kill a bunch of rats. He should have suicided the rats in, though. Maybe? Now I'm dead in, like, two turns? No, I'm not. Uh. How do I do this where I don't die? Go to combat. Make it unblockable. I would. Ugh. This is getting out of control. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not sure how I win here. There's a bunch of big things on the board. So let's see. I attack. Tap this. Throw this away. They go to... 10, I hit them, they go to 7. Can't really get them to 5. They attack me back. Trade here. Tap this. Oh yeah, it's got reach. Put a wall with reach. Yeah, I can't get by an O four. Another gate. So if they attack with everything, I can trade here, take seven, eight, nine, ten. Should use the pass while adapt. Yep. Do this, I don't die. Let's see if the worm comes in. <clears throat> So let's see, I could potentially Gravitic Punch for five. Cosmotronic Wave. Does that just win me the game? Um, kind of. I guess that's a card that wins. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's only game one, though. Game two, actually. Uh, shoot. They got a whole bunch of stupid big walls and big things. I could play the locksmith. Punch for five and swing for five doesn't work great because of, uh, they had enough stuff to soak up some trample. What is bad? What notion rain?
This is a slow enough match. Drop Price of Fame? No. That's a that's like my key removal spell. That's why I'm playing black in the first place, mostly. Then take down. It kills other things too, it's just cheaper for legendaries. Alright, I'll keep this. It's got my colors, this is not a fast matchup. I have to auto pass because they're playing. <sighs> they are just five color stuff. I have drawn plenty of lands now. I have seven lands. I suppose I can just kill the wall. I can just invert it. Hit for a bunch next turn. Oh man, can I invert Cosmotronic Wave and wipe their board? Ooh, watch this. This is gonna be great. Okay. Alright, we're doing it. out of spells now. It was nice. Thank you. No more lands. Nine lands is plenty. They can double block. It'll be a trade. <clears throat> I can just price a fame. Kill the three to and bash for eight. This becomes a two four. They go to four. Don't want to play land. Um, me, yeah, I do. Nah. I want to keep some jumpstart fodder. That is a thing. What's your last card?
Are we going to get there? Are we going to get there? Nice. Uh, no attacks. I'm just going to wait there for. What are they going to do? That thing. Uh, huh. Do I care about that thing? <clears throat> hmm. Good game. Shuffle those back in. I trust nobody. Well. Punch? Let's have some punch. <laughs> Woo! Woo! All right. there we drafted this deck it wasn't great and <laughs> didn't it was three colors and not good we got there we got our five moons Woo! Woo, 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 woo. Woo! <sighs> now i'm tired mission complete yes baby we did it we got 2100 gems we got six packs we had a deck that i thought was gonna go two and two and uh i guess it was better than i thought hey curtain Curtain's getting a little weird. Probably because it's late. So, woo! That was exciting. You know, should I open the packs? I should probably open the packs. Not that this is very exciting. Uh, we got a <coughs> Fire Mind Research. Bleh. <coughs> I'm glad I didn't lose either. Thief of Sanity. That's a neat card. Be kind of cool if it showed up in some sort of standard deck. You did say guilds, this is true. You can have the win. Mazum leave them secrets. Bleh. Hatchery spider. Spider. Oh, we got a wild card. Expansion explosion. That's actually a decent card. If I ever wanted to build the Jeskai control deck in standard. Last pack. Or the Rat of the Silencer. Great limited card. Yeah, like, I would like to see, like, blue, black, mid range, something other. Alright. Well. Wow. Let me jump over here. It's because there's a wrinkle in this thing? Is that the problem? I don't know. So. Uh, whew, that was fun. All right. Where are we? Take a look. What time is it? Kind of late. It is, oh, 115 my time. Yeah, it's probably going to do it for me today. Ooh. Hey, you know what? My buddy TJ is streaming right now, so I'm going to send him over to you uh, to check him out. He is my co-host on the Ponder Podcast. If you like magic podcasts where we... Uh, have a good time. It's very casual. Ask a lot of questions. Doing a lot of guests lately. Had some great guests. Check it out. It's funny and entertaining and informative. Um, and TJ's the other host. So I'm going to send you over to him. Stop it. Stop it. We're not done. But thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Hopefully I'll be back soon. Coming up into the Christmas holiday weekends. Things are going to get weird. Not sure if I'm going to have time to stream again. But we be doing the podcast. I'll probably take a week off for Christmas. Listen next week. Should be good. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, and may your next draft go go this well. Win. Take a mediocre deck. Win out. You can do it. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you hit the follow button. 
and let's see, follow me on Twitter, blah, blah, blah. I put these on YouTube if you miss anything. You want to catch the end, look for Melvin the Muppet. That's it. Say hi to TJ for me. Have a good night. Okay, cool. Good night. Melvin. Melvin.